Hi, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Shani with Healing Elements. Shout out, Virgo, rising up in the house with me. This is your October 2019 fairy tale oracle deck reading. Uh, it's a great deck. It's by Lucy Cavendish. I had posted all 12 signs, just the card um, itself, onto Instagram, but this deck is beautiful and metaphorically meaningful when you read the exact fairy tale that goes along with these cards. So Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, you received the fairy tale number 16, Rumple Stiltskin, Secrets. This ancient tale is one which haunts so many, for who has not experienced the heroine's dilemma? The daughter of an ambitious and boastful miller is compromised in every way when he proclaims she can spin straw into gold. Of course, spinning is an art in itself, a valuable skill, and a reoccurring motive in fairy tales, the wheel which turns again and again. But in this tale, the miller's daughter must bear the burden of her father's boast. She is taken by a king to a castle and locked within a room filled with straw and a single spinning wheel. She must prove her father's boast to be true by presenting the king with gold in the morning or die for her father's lie. She breaks down and weeps, knowing that what she has been set to do is an impossible task. A small charming man and gnomes in magical traditions are masters of metal and stones appear. He offers to complete this impossible task for her and thus save her life. In return, he wants her firstborn child. Her choice is hopeless, death or a terrible sacrifice. The sadness within this tale comes from a person who has so much to be valued being told she is not enough without being superhuman. She is beautiful. She is kind and she can spin. Spinning is a sacred, purposeful, and true work, which is beautiful. The only thing lacking is money, and to make up for this, a ridiculous boast is put to the test by a very cold-hearted king. And who will pay the price? Not the father who told the lie. The daughter will. So when this card comes to you, my dear Virgos, be very wary of people who boast on your behalf. You will be the person who has to pay the price of their lies. This young woman is exploited by her father, then of the king, by the king, and even by the magical little man who comes to her aid at a terrible price. However, there is an escape clause within this terrible bargain. The young woman marries the king. Little does he deserve her. But in due time, their child is born, and her magical helper comes to her to claim his debt, her firstborn child. She breaks down, and he gives her an out. If she can discover his name by morning time, she will not have to fulfill the bargain. This old credence that knowing the name of a magical being grants you power over them still has resonance to this day. The little man is so convinced she will never know his name, he lets his guard down and she follows him and overhears him singing a little chant in which he says his name, which is of course, Rumpelstiltskin. This story has so many examples of exploitation. The one person within the tale who struggles against so much injustice is the miller's daughter, who is also never defined except by that title. So when this card comes to you, Virgos, check on what promises or debts you have inherited. Be wary of others making promises for work you can do without consulting you and using and abusing your work to get their own recognition. Always know that there can be a way out, even of the most awful of contracts and promises. There is always a way. You have talents and gifts, and they need to be valued for them themselves, as do you. So dear Virgos, I hope you have a marvelous October. Additional meanings that come along with this card are impossible tasks to accomplish, in quotations that are possible, unkeepable promises, unfair agreements, unfair on your behalf or theirs, the power of the name. There is a way out of any obligation. You have been misrepresented. You will find solutions. There is a power in knowing a being's true name. Promises falsely won cannot be kept. Okay, my dear Virgos, blessings, love, and light. Uh, this story was collected by the Brothers Grimm. However, there are very many different versions. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful October so far.